Oh, hello! Welcome to another rendition of me sitting on the floor talking. It's comfy down here. What can I tell you? Today we're going to be talking about hitting a wall in your new hustle. Really, it could be just hitting a wall in your hustle, period, but I find that people who have a new, relatively new project that they're working on that's taken up a lot of their time, perhaps money, brain space, they could really use this uh, little reminder, if you will. So what does it mean to be hitting a wall in your hustle? Well, let me describe what I've been going through. So I have been working on building my coaching business in a more focused way lately. And I've been, as these kids say, going hard. And <laughs> I also have been working on music on the side, patching up uh, the last few things that I need to put into my album. So I've, I've really just been stepping into all of this even more than usual. And recently, I started feeling a little tired and sort of like I was just going through the motions, not enjoying these things as much, even though I love them. I'm accepting that the wall is partially a physical thing. It's just a reaction to being stretched in terms of I'm just putting in more hours. I'm talking to more people about what I do, which, you know, is great, but can be a little bit draining, especially for an introvert. Um, and it's also very mental, like, you know, mentally tiring in the sense of, oh boy, like, look, I'm noticing a little success and I'm sticking to what I say I'm going to do repetitively and can bring up some fears of success. It's just, it's like a, it's a little bit of discomfort on a physical and mental plane, even though I'm doing exactly what I said I wanted to do. And ultimately I'm happy I'm doing it, if that makes sense. So here's what I want you to know, because it took, I'm not tripping out about this because this has happened before and I've learned the following from it. Um, it took me a while to get this, and I'd rather spare you the time on having to learn it yourself because I've wasted a lot of time coming to this realization. Hitting a wall energetically does not mean that you are not cut out for this, this being that thing that you want to do. It doesn't mean you're not cut out for this. So don't let your current lack of energy or lack of enthusiasm for something that overall you know really interests you or lights you up and that you want in your life to make you worry like, oh my God, does this mean like this isn't for me or I can't be an entrepreneur because I can't hang and I'm feeling tired and whatever. You're a human. You're not a robot. There's going to be the ebbs and there's going to be the flows, the peaks, the valleys, all those other metaphors, okay? There are times that even your biggest passions are not going to feel ecstatically fun, especially if you're trying to make a business out of them because there's going to be certain things about doing that that you just, just don't love. And I'm actually going to dive a little bit deeper into this in a podcast episode coming soon, so stay tuned for that. But um, the thing is, is if you're feeling physically tired, like, because it really can be physically demanding to be doing a little bit and dabbling and then deciding, yo, I'm turning pro and I'm going to really go at this thing, especially if you have a very full life, such as a full-time job, plus, plus, plus. If you need to take a break, take a break. <laughs> that actually just reminded me of um, in Sex and the City when Big is moving to California and he just tells Carrie and she's like, if you, what is it? Wait, hang on, hang on, hang on, wait for it. Oh, if you're tired, you take a Napa. You don't move to Napa. I just love that. I love that show. Anyway, of course, had to insert a Sex and the City reference. But yeah. Um, yeah, so the energy, going back to that, if you're genuinely, if you need to rest a bit to get back into the game, Ain't no shame in that. Do that, especially while you're building up this muscle of getting into new routines that you're trying to maintain. The energy you give to things is really important. And and if you're interacting with people at all and whatever this thing is that you're doing, they will notice if you're feeling burnt out or meh. And that's okay sometimes. Like, yo, like that's life. But if you need to take a little time out for yourself, do so. Um... You know, if you're if you're 
not getting sleep and you're just not feeling what you're doing, it'll show in your results essentially. So plus it's good to build in breaks anyway, right? Because you don't want to just spend your entire life working towards something or working on your life. You want to be living it and enjoying and stopping to smell the roses, which is something I constantly have to remind myself. When you take a break from what you're working on, maybe it's a day or two or more, whatever you feel like you need and you can play around with that. It's like absence makes the heart grow fonder often, right? And so when you come back to it, you may feel freshly inspired. So all I'm saying is if you recently started going hard to pursue a passion and if every so often you feel like you're hitting a wall, do not take it as a sign that it is not meant for you. It's probably just that you're stretching out of your comfort zone. It's probably just growing pains. So that is all that I had to share with you for now. Like I said, stay tuned for an upcoming episode of City Girls Thriving where I delve into this a little bit more and talk about passions and you know, how do you know if what you're saying your passion is or what you want to do with your life is really that. A little housekeeping. If you are wanting to, you know, basically have some maintenance, have some check-ins on where you are if you are right now pursuing a new hustle and you might want somebody to support you with that, I am open to taking new clients right now and I would love, love, love to hear what it is that you are passionate about and help you navigate these points of feeling a little bit of a zap in energy, whether it feels like it's purely physical or a mix of physical, mental, emotional, whatever, and help you get back in the game and not let it like drag you down and take you out of said game for weeks, a month plus. So hit me up. You can email me at hello at Erica. No, no, don't hit me up there. Hit me up at yeah, no, I was right. Good Lord, I need the coffee today. Hit me up at hello at ericalh.com. That's hello at E-R-I-C-A-L-H.com. Or, you know, DM me, ping me on the social things. And let's get a conversation going. Get you past that threshold of where it's like a new thing and just get you in the flow, get you in the zone. So that is all I have to say. I will talk to you very soon in an upcoming video and podcast episode. Love you much. Bye.